Hello, my name is Steve Hart. I'm Executive Director of the Soy Aquaculture Alliance. Uh, we are a, a membership organization that has put, been put together by soybean farmers throughout the U.S. to attempt to help uh, develop and promote the aquaculture industry. Uh, we have identified the United States as a significant opportunity for aquaculture growth. Uh, we are the second largest consumer of seafood in the world, and, and we do believe that there is opportunity for U.S. Uh, domestic production of seafood through aquaculture, and we want to work with you guys to help see that come to fruition. Uh, some of the biggest challenges that, from my perspective, I see on a day-to-day -day basis for new producers, uh, I think the number one challenge is business planning. I've worked with a lot of producers throughout the years and have seen uh, a failure to do a complete business plan be probably the number one reason for new operations uh, not to last more than a couple of years. And by business planning, I mean from A to Z, not just starting off with you know, having your financial documents put together, but you have to go through and do your complete business plan all the way through marketing. And that marketing side is a critical area that a lot of farmers don't like to deal with. Uh, I, I work with soybean farmers as well as fish farmers, and, and I think you can say it's pretty much in general all farmers, they don't like to sell a product. They like to grow it and let someone else worry about selling it. But in the aquaculture business, we can't afford to do that. Uh, you have to be a marketer and you have to be ready to uh, sell your product. So as part of your business plan, you have to put together a full marketing plan. And I think that's probably been the number one reason for failures. Uh, in addition to that, you'll hear a lot that financing is a major uh, impediment to developing this industry and I think the whole business planning part of it plays into that financing uh, role as well. Uh, that would be the area that I would see as kind of the second largest constraint and that is access to funds. Uh, for new producers especially it is very difficult to go get traditional financing uh, through ag banks. Uh, however we are seeing some change in this area and, and we're starting to see new uh, facilities pop up throughout the Midwest uh, that are getting traditional ag lo loans from uh, financial institutions. And I think as we continue to see more success stories, this will increase. So we, we want to continue to work with the, uh, the financial industry as well as the producers to bring them together to uh, get them to start talking to each other uh, so that the financial institution can work with the producers to help them and let them know what a uh, a financial package needs to look like before they go seek funding. Uh, what that business plan needs to look like, what type of position the farmer needs to be in in order to seek financing. Uh, so we're going to continue to look at these type of programs these, uh, to bring these two communities together to start talking. And kind of the big one that I put as my uh, final constraint, there's more than these, but the big three, uh, is regulation. And uh, you hear a lot about how uh, difficult it is to get permitted for new operations, and this is something that has continued to be a problem now for quite some time. Uh, we are seeing some progress in this area. It, it's a very state-by-state -state, uh, case. I think Ohio has been a fairly good state to work in. Uh, the state I'm, I'm in, Indiana, and, and we've seen some pretty good progress there as well. Uh, the organization I work for is, is trying at a federal level to work directly with the agencies that are in charge of regulating the aquaculture industry to uh, make the process easier. And we've identified this as a critical bottleneck to the industry, and whenever we're meeting with the federal agency, we talk about uh, redundancy in regulations, how do we make it easier for producers, how do we work together with these agencies to make sure that we are uh, regulating for uh, growth in the industry instead of regulating against the development of an industry. And I believe we're making progress in this area and uh, something that we'll continue to uh, put uh, major effort into. And uh, on behalf of the Soy Aquaculture Alliance, I just want to you know, thank Ohio State for the opportunity to, uh, to talk to you guys. And uh, we look forward to continuing to work with new producers in the future as, as we develop our programs. Uh, you can learn more about Soy Aquaculture Alliance by uh, visiting our website, uh, which is uh, Soy Aqua Alliance. Uh, dot com and uh, you can learn more there and uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to uh, talk with any of you that uh, want to learn more. Thank you.